This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is, to my knowledge, the biggest and heaviest bicycle U-lock made in the world. It's the Altor Safe Lock, Safe is spelled S-A-F, which I believe stands for Strong as F. And I have to say, just by looking at it, I can't argue with the name. So you have an idea of scale. Here it is next to the ultra-beefy kryptonite New York Forget About It. And there's absolutely no comparison. There's also no comparison on weight or price. This is a $300 bike lock, and it weighs in over 13 pounds. Given the weight, it's meant to be left where you lock your bike. Now, the reason it's so big is that this lock is designed to resist angle grinders, and it does that by being so big that a standard 4.5-inch cutting wheel doesn't protrude far enough from the grinder to cut all the way through the shackle. There's a few videos on YouTube of people trying to open this with an angle grinder, and I think the takeaway is it's almost always going to be easier to cut the bike rack. Now, this ultra-thick shackle is not solid steel. That would probably weigh far too much. What we have is a 14 millimeter thick steel shackle, and that's surrounded by an aluminum shell. I believe they used aluminum for two reasons. First, to cut down on weight, and second, aluminum tends to gum up grinder wheels. I may do another video where I take a novel approach to opening this with a grinder, but today, folks, is all about picking. Now, the core that's buried deep inside of this is a disc detainer design that's modeled after the Abloy Profile Cylinder, and it does have false gates in it. Unfortunately, when I got this lock, I did not have a tool that could pick it open, and I only know of one person in the world who makes them for sale. He does it by hand, and he's an ocean away. That's, of course, Matt Smith in the UK. So, what I did was headed down to my garage, and emerge several hours later with this tool, which should be able to open the lock. However, because the tool required to open this is so uncommon, before we even start picking, I can tell you the chances of this being picked on the street are essentially zero. But my desk is not the street, so let's see what it takes to pick this open. The first thing we need to do is rotate those discs as far clockwise as they will go. Then I'm going to separate the tool, insert the tensioner, okay, I have that in position. Now we're going to insert the pick tip. We're going to send that all the way to the back of the lock. Okay, now let's put some tension on and get to picking. Got to click out of that back disc. I can still feel it rubbing, so that's probably a false gate. Let me move it one more position. There we go. It's nice and loose now. Let's move it to the next disc. Next one is also binding. There we go. That feels nice and loose now in a gate. Okay, the next one is loose. That's in a gate. Next one is binding. And we got a little bit of movement on the core. That probably means all of the discs are now in a gate. Next one is a little bit loose. This one's binding. And there we go. We got this open. Okay, folks, this is a product unlike anything on the market. It's not meant to be portable. It's meant to be one of the most theft-resistant bike locks money can buy. And I have to say, with its massive size and relatively uncommon core, I think Altors accomplished that goal. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.